Hey guys, today's video is how to use count in Terraform. So this will let you create multiple resources uh, with one block or one resource call. And uh, again, just kind of save you some copying and pasting. So let's look at these first four blocks here. And these are where we're just creating one resource at a time. So we have a resource group, a VNet, and then a subnet within that VNet. So pretty basic there. So you see here at the top, we have count equal to two. And then in name, we reference that count parameter and add one to it. So here we're saying we want to create two NICs and the, name it count.index plus one. So in this case, the index starts at zero. So we want it to just be a little more readable NIC one instead of NIC zero. So in this case, we're deploying two. We're going to have NIC one and two instead of NIC zero and one. Uh, below that, we just do a little bit of IP configuration. These are, this is required for a NIC. And this is probably optional, uh, but I just want to tell Terraform that I want that subnet deployed before we start creating NICs. So now let's get into the VM itself. Uh, you can see I put some notes up here in the comments. Uh, so the count parameter is used to create multiple instances of a resource. We can reference count.index within the names of the resource to append the index to that name. So just like we looked at with the NIC, uh, we set count equal to two, meaning we want two VMs. And then in the name, again, we reference that count parameter plus one. So VM one and VM two in this case. And then we have our location and resource group name. Uh, you've seen that before, I'm sure. Just referencing the, the resource group we, create, we created at the very beginning. So here again, we see count.index in the network interface IDs. So this is a required variable for creating a VM. And you can see here, we're just referencing each NIC that we created just a second ago. So we created two NICs that have to correspond to two VMs. So this is saying, look at the NIC we just created. So this will be like NIC sub zero ID and NIC sub one ID. And those would correspond, NIC one goes to VM one, and of course, NIC two to VM two. Uh, you can see the VM size is tiny. I think that's one vCPU and three and a half gigs of RAM, something like that. Uh, Ubuntu 16, it's kind of old, but it works. Uh, again, we're referencing that count parameter here in the name. So my OS disk one and two. And again, here in the computer name, uh, it's going to be called host name, host name one and host name two. So that's pretty much it for the code walkthrough. Let's go ahead and deploy this and see what we get. And again, I've already done an AZ login. You'll have to do that first to connect Terraform to Azure so you can deploy to your subscription. Everything looks good there. Okay, let's just review the plan now. Let's see, okay. So here we see uh, Azure Virtual Machine VM zero, and we named it VM one. Again, count starts at zero. The, I'm sorry, the index starts at zero, but we want it to be a little more readable. So instead of a zero, we have it as a one. And again, down here, we see VM one name is VM two. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this. And I'll show you what it looks like in the portal. Okay, and you can see it's complete. Uh, that was actually pretty quick, took about a minute to deploy everything. So let's go look at the portal. All right, so I'm gonna refresh. And good, we have account demo resource group. And there we go. We have our VNet and our subnet one. Going back to the resource group, we have our OS disk one. NIC1 and VM1, and OS Disk2, NIC2, and VM2. So that's a quick video on how to use count in Terraform to save yourself some copying and pasting. Uh, the code is in my GitHub account, uh, Trade as DevOps, if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.